so you've grown your seeds and then you look at them in their seed tray and you think, I don't want to touch them, I'm going to kill them. That's how I feel. So, plant doctor, what do we do with them next? So, got these lovely. Yep, yeah, we've got um, Cerinthi major purpurassens, which many of you might know. It's sometimes called the Greek weed because in its native country, it's normally a yellow flower, but this has wonderful purpley blue small bells on these what a slightly glaucusy grey foliage but it is a lovely plant and it's one of these nice plants that once you've got it in the garden you will generally always have it it will see if it likes you it will seed it will seed around and and it seeds very well in gravel areas um, areas which are sunny uh, free draining it really does well in those sorts of soils and, and here we've got some young plants which we obviously need to pot on it's quite a lot in here yeah they're, they're all, quite they're all gathered into the middle well they're quite crowded you see and, and for me it's really important to, to split these up. So we need to really pop these on. I mean, they're at the stage now where they need to go into individual pots. In fact, they're probably a little bit overcrowded. So what we need to do is we need to split these clumps up to try and get them apart. Now, all the books will, of course, and the programmes will say you can't grab the plants and tease them apart. But here we're going to have to because we're going to have to gently tease these apart. If we left them in the clump as they are now, what would happen is that some of these seedlings would get much bigger and they would outcompete the others and we wouldn't have half as many plants because the, the younger plants which weren't doing quite as well would actually get killed off. So we're, we're taking them apart for their own benefit and we want to do it now before they get too big. But you can see we're teasing these apart. Look, I'm going to put some on here to show you. Lovely roots on here as well. And with something like Cerinthi, you know, you have got to be careful with it but the stems are actually very very tough on these plants you can see out of this one pot what we're doing is we're getting lots of individual seedlings with good leaves on them with good stems and good roots and what we're going to do is we're going to pot these up into individual pots or cells so what I've got here is I've got a six cell tray which most of you will have at home in your sheds your greenhouses and it's quite a nice way of putting clusters of plants together if you think about it plants are quite social things you know in most the sort of situations in the wild you will see plants growing together they are sociable things they like to be in little groups so i've got a mix here which is um, a loam based compost so it's probably john Innes number number one or number two relatively low in nutrients but very very good mix and we've added to that some perlite. You can see the white little pieces in there. And what the perlite will do is that will increase the drainage, so it will help the compost drain better. Um, and also it will add air to it as well, and it will stop the compost becoming too compacted and too congested. So I'm just going to fill this up. Quite crudely, in fact, you know. Skim the top off, give it a little tap in, OK? And you can use a dibber if you want, but us gardeners have our own dibbers. We've got dirty fingers and they are by far a much better thing to use than a little dibber. We're going to grab our young plant, okay, and we're going to hold it by the stem very gently, okay. These are robust enough. Small hole in the cell. Put all the roots in. Give them a little twist if you need to. And then nip the compost around, okay. And we'll do the same again with this one. It's quite long roots. We're going to make the hole with our finger. We're going to get all those roots in there. Give the plant a little shake and then just nip in, okay? And these plants will be so happy in here, they really will, because they've got their own little root space to grow into. They've got space. They've got their own supply of nutrients, and they will make really nice plants that we can put out in the garden. And these are wonderful things to go out in the borders to give us colour right the way through the summer and into the autumn. And even when they finished flowering, they still have wonderful, wonderful foliage which will carry us right through till the early frosts We'll give that a tap. We'll sit that in a tray filled with water so the compost can soak all that moisture up. And it means that the root hairs are in really good contact with the, the soil and also the water there. Keep them in a greenhouse, doesn't have to be heated, just a little bit of gentle temperature. And in a few weeks time, they'll be ready for planting out into a well-prepared border. Hey!